Morning. When you get a message in the morning from a finance team telling you that we are missing thousands of transactions for the last few weeks, and we have had no alerts or any indication from our observability perspective, you know it's not going to be a good day for you. And that is exactly what happened just over 18 months ago, which then led us to focus on making sure that we can account for every single transaction made on the tail all the way to back-end ERP systems. What I will do is I'll go through that journey on what we went on. But first, a little bit about ourselves. We are UK's market leader in homeware. We have over 180 stores across the country. We get around 110K transactions daily. And we also have an e-commerce website which attracts around 2 million sessions daily. To support all of that, we build a lot of services in-house, but we also use third-party off-shelf off solutions. To give you a flavor of some of the technologies that we use at Dunelm, and on top of that, just one thing to point out is that we are big users of serverless. In uh, December alone, we had around 2.5 billion Lambda invocations, just to give you an indication. But when it comes to our store, Till Estate, we use an off-shelf solution provided by Nacta. We've been using Nacta now for quite a few years. It is a very comprehensive solution. But as with any off-the-shelf solutions, you are going to have some challenges. And one of those challenges is around monitoring, as you might have guessed. There are a few things that we have asked an actor to do and change, which will make it easier for us to monitor end-to-end, -end, but that will take a while to do. So we had to work around that. But what we'll do is give you a very brief overview of how transactions flow through our systems. So hang with me, it's very simple. In a store you can have multiple tills, up to 10. Each till will have a card reader, a cash draw, and a printer to print your receipt. Once you have scanned all the items and are ready to pay, you can pay either by cash or you can pay by card. If you're paying by card, you will use a card reader which will connect to the bank via payment acquirer and they will take payment on our behalf. Once the payment is complete, transaction details are then sent to the printer, which will print the receipt for you, unless you have opted for e-receipt, in which case, the communication gets intercepted, and instead of printing receipt, an email is sent out. Now the transaction is complete. It is sent to the store server and a store will receive transactions from all tails in that store. It will process that transaction, send it over to stake manager, and the stake manager will receive transactions from all of the stores. It will, in turn, send that over to integration layer developed in-house on a serverless stack, which will then map it and send it over to SAP or ERP system. One thing to note, when a till sends a transaction to the store server, it's a send and forget mechanism. So it's not, there's no easy way of knowing if a transaction has actually been made, sent successfully or not. But for the rest of the estate, we can have a very good visibility of what is happening. We got Datadog agents on all the tails, on the store servers, and the Inactor estate. We also have SQL scripts on tails, store servers, and the Inactor estate. 
And what this gives us is the visibility of are the transactions being processed successfully or not? Except for on tail. Because on a tail, it assumes every single transaction has been sent successfully, regardless. On top of that, there were some performance implications that meant we actually had to remove this script altogether. One funny thing about those SQL scripts, they were sending emails to individuals. Now, coming back to the incident, we're missing thousands of store transactions. There, were, there, was one main re there were multiple reasons, actually. But one of the main reasons was the changes that we had made to the store server, which meant some of the transactions were now failing to be processed. But also, we were seeing some transactions not even hitting the store server. One of the things that we did right away, instead of sending email, we started sending the metrics to Datadog, which then gives us a lot more flexibility on what we can do with that. But that still leaves the transactions which are not even hitting the store server. We already get settlement file from our payment acquirer. And all of the transactions are going through our integration layer. We build a new service. Now we can alert on any discrepancies. Good thing about this one is that it's not going to put any performance implications on the inactive state itself and is very much decoupled from it. But that still leaves, actually, before that, there are a couple of downsides to using the settlement file. That It can take up to seven days for all of the transactions to be settled. And the secondly, it's only accounting for card payments and not the cash payments. So we, while we wait for Enactor to make the changes that we have asked them to do, we had to cover that gap. So we created a new service to handle that scenario. Now, every time a payment is taken on a till and the transaction details are being sent to the printer, we intercept that communication and send it to this service. We can monitor this service as well now and also replay those filled messages which means we can now start to alert on any discrepancies, even if a single transaction is missing. Again, very much decoupled from the nectar state itself, so no performance implications for it. This also gave us something else. Now we have a very accurate picture of the latency in terms of how long is taking for transactions to flow through all of that system, which we did not have before because of the some architectural constraints on the previous solution. Putting it all together, we already had a good visibility of a tail is down, store server is down, a Docker instance is not working, but now, we can see if there is any of the transactions not processing on the store server on the EM, the central estate manager. But on top of that, we are starting to see even if a single transaction fails to go through, latency is going up. And what this means for us is that we can now alert right away if there is an issue because all of the information is still on those devices, we can now actually investigate further, more thoroughly, and actually go after the root cause of the underlying issues, which was a challenge before. It could have taken a while before we knew where the issues were. By the time we get to it, if the server has restarted or the logs have gone, we won't store it for that long anyway. What we 
when we were working on this, we kind of, we did actually work very closely with an actor. We were open about our challenges and tried to understand the limitations that they have on their side and work with them to come up with a observability roadmap. And we did not shy away from making a service or building something of ourselves to collect the telemetry data that we need. At the same time, keeping in the mind the cost of building those services and using that to come up with a more realistic observability roadmap for this. One last thing before I finish. If any of you are wondering what happened to those thousands of missing transactions, we managed to recover every single one of those. But for some reason, the finance team was not as impressed as we were with that. I will be around. If you have any questions, please come and talk to me. Otherwise, thank you for listening.